What's up everybody, it's Mover. Uh, kind of an extension of the Mover mailbag today. Got an email from a Wizzo and it says, Hey Mover, I've enjoyed watching your videos and particularly like the Mover Ruins Movies videos you do. I'm currently a Strike Eagle Wizzo waiting B course start. B course is the basic uh, course. So once you finish IFF, you go to the B course where you learn the actual aircraft you're gonna fly. Yes, I know you're feeling about Wizzos. I think they're fine as people. I just not necessarily find them all that useful. However, there's a mission in the game, Battlefield 3, I believe, where you are an F-18 Wizzo and goes through some dogfighting, and I think a Mover Ruins Movies type video for that would be kind of entertaining to watch. Obviously, it's a video game from 2011, but it, I find it quite fun to hear someone with way more experience than me break stuff down. Oh, by the way, when going through IFF, F-16 pilots seem to need the most prompts, but I digress. So a little bit of trash talking from the student Wizzo. Awesome. You know why? Because F-16 pilots are single seat and he's probably confused of why you're talking in the back. Usually our incentive riders don't say a whole lot. Anyway, I digress. Let's take a look. I pulled up the Battlefield 3 jet mission with ultra graphics on the uh, YouTube and we'll break it down and see uh, how it works out. So here we go. Three. And all right, so Al Bashir and the PLR ceased power in Iran almost the same day as the earthquake, they became a threat. Play. Hawkins, we just got raised to alert one. Plans have changed. We're launching now. Okay, there's no such thing as alert one. That's first off. <laughs> so we are Lieutenant Jennifer Colby Hawkins, a Wizzo, on the uh, George H.W. Bush in the Persian Gulf. That may be a factor later. CAG says we're special today. We're snowflakes. We're not on station for some Whiskey Delta ground support. Okay. Uh, Whiskey Delta, weak dick, I think is probably what he means. I've never, Battlefield loves to say these, you know, Oscar Mike, Whiskey Delta, just weak dick. And yes, junior enlisted folks will get out of the way of officers in the P-ways here, but they don't salute, especially without a hat or a cover, if you will, for you uh, Navy folks. Desk is gonna fill us in airborne, but we are flying a strike mission over terror. Oh, cool! Just like Mirabad Airport. Yeah. Elant has sat images. Okay, Elant is electronic intelligence. It's signals. It's not. You don't. Satellite images do not come from Elant. This is just a jibber jabber acronym that they found and and were wrong about. But um, and also we don't do the briefing, walking out to the airplane. Usually they're in a briefing room prior to the mission. So at this point, they're what's called walking, and then the Air Force is stepping, and they wouldn't be briefing the classified mission just walking down the hallway here. I think they know where Al Bashir is. So, get your fangs out. Fangs out. Fangs out's a real thing. Uh-oh, she's staring at his ass. Stop sexually harassing him. I think that harness is wrong, though. That's pretty much it. If there's a rain and bogies in the air already. It's a weird, it's weird harness. Oh yeah. So my buddy GB, we were talking about this. He pointed out that yes, this is realistic because the ship will find its way into the nearest thunderstorm. Also, they would get yelled at because in the Navy they expect you to wear the the uh, helmet when you're walking out there. So they wouldn't be just carrying it and they wouldn't have, where's his helmet bag? Where's his pup's kit? Where's all the stuff he needs to go do this mission? And she's staring at his ass again. Yeah, this harness is wrong. In the Navy, it used to drive me nuts. In the Navy, the harness doesn't have little clippy clips here. So you always wear it. So his harness is attached to nothing and his legs aren't in it. So if he ejects, uh, there's nothing really gonna happen here. He's gonna fall through it because his legs aren't attached to anything. You don't have the little crotch straps there. But in the, in the Air Force, you can unclip them and hook them back to the back, so it's okay. This looks like some hybrid thing without the clips, so there's really not, not accurate here. Oh, nice. So you've got a Hornet on the cat 
an afterburner with no one in it. Uh, carrying, looks like an AIM-7 and an AIM-9. Uh, so it's got a 2x2 two two loadout with three fuel tanks and no bombs. That's an AIM-9 mic. Yep, staring at his ass again. More sexual harassment. I'm offended. Okay, let's rock and roll. Let's do it. So the mask is clipped to your harness, not on the helmet. That's an Air Force thing. Sounds like she's wearing her mask. Okay, this is funny. Her, Lieutenant Hawkins, her call sign's Wedge. They really didn't like this chick because Wedge is kind of a demeaning call sign for the simplest tool. Okay, that's the only very few uh, Hornets have the stick in the back. The Super Hornet, I think they're only at the rag. So Lamore at this point, maybe Oceana. Usually they have their little hand controllers on the side, but no stick in the middle. I don't think you'd be deployed with one that actually has the stick installed. They wouldn't put the stick back there with the Wizzo. Yep, no stick for you. You do that, you're the pilot. You close the lid. Uh, my buddy GB says also, and this is from Hornet Vid, so if you want to check out his channel, go uh, subscribe. Uh, I'll leave the link, but second in line, they don't tell you what you're, where you are, it's just pretty much you know, because they've already briefed all this stuff. Nope. So you wouldn't do this because number one, uh, they, they do have a plane captain that do like left, right, up, down, all that stuff. But that's the pilot checking that and he's checking it against the SCS. And if he needs to look, he can just turn around. It's not that far for him to turn around and look. He wouldn't need Hawkins to be doing all this stuff. At this point, and Wizzo, whether you like them or not aside, they are just passengers. They're not doing any of this stuff for you. That's great. Yeah, I don't know what this guy's doing. One button. I don't know what stroke means, but that's not a thing. This is, isn't what the... Wizzo can't control the cannon, and um, there's no... It doesn't... It doesn't spool up or anything on the ground like that. Hey, you don't have AIM-9Xs there, guy. They could arm the flares, or items. Okay, good ends, good highs, good lows, no outlight is gibberish. None of that makes any sense. Good hides, as in hydraulics, this might come from the Speed and Angels video um, where they, the, the pilot wipes out the flight controls on the Tomcats and she says she had good hides. No outlets, sticks going forward, aft, left, evaporate, good right, left rudder, right rudder, good rudders, wiping them out, control the frame correct, good end, good low, good hides, no lights, right in the back, let's go. And maybe good end speed, she's calculated it, but, uh, None of the they, these words don't make any sense. Here we go. Press E for takeoff. Okay, the Wizzo doesn't salute. It's pointless. No reason for the Wizzo to be saluting. Just hold on. The, hold on. Listen to this. American 2050 Miami Center in the Persian Gulf. They're listening to Miami Center, and there's an American 2050 flying around in the Persian Gulf during the war. Probably not great. Talking to Miami Center. 
Okay, that guy right there just got smoked. That one too, probably. GB says you wouldn't make the right turn, but you could if you're an alert fighter on a scramble, so we'll let that one go. Good end speed, good engines. I mean, this is all too slow at this point. Saying how copy is the biggest, I would say how copy. No one says that unless you really don't copy. It's kind of a douchey thing to say. Yeah, they make a 180. You wouldn't make a 180 back to the boat. Who's the flight lead? So usually you rejoin on your flight lead. The flight lead doesn't rejoin on you. Okay, so they're getting a vector to go intercept. Angels 3 is 3,000 feet. Master Armand, good light, okay. He's way too far forward for being the wingman. Or is he the lead? He's just terrible at this. Him blower is gonna be hard to hang on to, especially with three bags. Never cared about minor turbulence or any kind of turbulence in a fighter? Put the seatbelt light on. Here we go. Now we're going to do something. Who's Shark 4 2? Us or them? That's, it's not a tone. So they're shooting you in the face! Terrible intercept. Now they're hostile at this point. So bring it back around and Fox 2. They're hostile. Oh, terrible, terrible. Yeah, that's not. Way too much talking. You should have been shooting them. If you'd have run a better intercept, you could have shot them. Stop. Okay, you know why he did that? Because you were just driving and not shooting him. You were, it's terrible. He bled his speed, he's on my six. You just said he's on your six and now you don't know where he's at? Okay, if the Wizzo can look back like this, either they need an exorcist or she's really flexible. Flares! Break! Stop driving! You suck! Break! Jink! Jink! If he's between your tails, jink! Oh, don't dump speed. Just jink. Oh, Jesus. So you're gonna do the Cobra thing too? Shoot him! Oh, now she turns the HMD on? No wonder she's the wedge. Shoot him! Box two. Point of order, Mr. Mayor. The Wizzo does not shoot. It should be the guy in the front. Doctrinally, the, the, the pilot is the one that uh, shoots and drops bombs. Wizzo only lasers and at this point, it's just telling them where he is. Box two. You don't have to say sent, just say Fox two. Oh boy. There you go. You got shot in the face again, though. Uh-oh. No joy. And she's, why is she flying? Yeah, so she has no idea what's going on. Typical. Uh-oh. Well, shoot him. No, just break. Shoot him. 
Fox 2 scent. It's just Fox 2. You don't say scent. No, it's your job, buddy. Uh-oh. And while you were jibber-jabbering, one job you had, you should have been checking six. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You better break. Flares. Oh. Oh. Jink. This guy's terrible. He is tumbleweed like a big dog. Didn't they already shoot the two aim nines? No, 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 no. The Hornet, it's canted two degrees up, um, and that's it. It doesn't follow a helmet mounted sight. It's not like a 50 cal out the window or whatever. If you're not in plane, in range, and in lead, you're not hitting anything. This is stupid. And the Wizzo is not shooting the gun. Jeez. Oh, no. See, yeah, what are you... What? Again, it's just a video game, though, so let's not get too upset about it. Yeah, wow, that's an awesome gun. 30 degrees off foresight, man. 45 degrees off foresight. Look at you. From the back seat. Well, they're not hitting anything, so maybe this is realistic. If only you had missiles you could use. Maybe an AIM-9X, since they seem to be belt-fed. Yeah, the one job you had. Break, jink, brink. This guy was terrible. Well, why is he jinking? He's so bored back there in the control zone, he's just doing aileron rolls while he waits for you to quit graping around. Oh, uh-oh, we got hit. Just, there you go, Wizzo. Arm the seat. You're the last flare. Oh, and you're using the high off foresight gun. That must be a new feature of the Hornet. This is just painful. Oh, my God. Boom! Good shot, good kill. All right, I've had enough. Okay, I'm sure some other stuff happens. I think they go drop bombs and stuff, but whatever. This is enough. Anyway, uh, it's just a video game. Don't take it too seriously. Um, but I think a lot, I've seen a lot of comments where people are like, yeah, I want to be a Wizzo. And th there's nothing wrong with being a Wizzo. I just, you know, I would aspire to being a pilot because in real life, the pilot's the one shooting, flying, doing all this stuff. Um, I'm not not hating on Wizzos. I just have never, you know, they say a single seat fighter pilot has never been in a situation where he's like, man, I wish I had a Wizzo right now. You know, I'd, I'd really love to get rid of, you know, 800 pounds of fuel so I could have somebody in the back seat. Strike Eagle Bubba's love them. I'm, I'm sure the Super Hornet guys may be 50-50, but uh, in a single seat fighter, I've never really had the use for one. Not to say they're bad people. It's just, you know, I just never really needed one. But um, with that said, this is a video game. It's not, I don't think I found a single thing realistic about it in the whole thing. Um, it's just, that's just what the way it is. But it's, it's, it's for entertainment. I played this game back when it came out and I was flying the F-16 and I enjoyed it minus the you got to ride as a passenger because i think it would have been cooler if you could fly but i understand why they didn't do it because it probably would have been uh prohibitively difficult to make this mission happen the way they wanted to for the story and all that stuff but uh anyway so let me know what you think it would be cool i mean I'm, it's cool that they have i love the battlefield games and i, I hope that uh, they do some more fighter pilot stuff uh in the future but uh, again you're the Wizzo, so you wouldn't really be doing all this stuff because Wizzos don't shoot missiles or drop bombs or any of that stuff. They just, there is a part in here, I guess I should have uh, played on, but there's a part in here where they laze the bomb in, and that actually a Wizzo will do. So that's actually the one thing they do. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Excuse me. No, oh, no. Oh! Oh, a lot of them.
actually fire the doors off. Don't be a douche. That's rule number one. I can tell you now.